The accessibility features that Apple has built into iOS are really pretty amazing, period. But they can be very useful even to those of us who do not have the exact disabilities they are designed to help with, period. New paragraph. The text editing commands in the voice control tool are especially helpful to a general audience, period. Let's see how to set up your accessibility options to make this work, period. Change useless to useful. Capitalize voice control. And change their designs to they are designed. All the magic happens in the settings app. Open up settings, then accessibility, scroll down to voice control, turn voice control on, and scroll down to customize commands. There's no fast way to do this. The first couple settings like basic navigation, you don't need any of those settings there. In overlays, you do need two of those settings. Scroll all the way down to cap number and then choose number and turn those on. Those are gonna be helpful. Basic gestures you don't need and advanced gestures you don't need, but dictation you do need. Go ahead and turn most of these on, but not the first two. If you turn those on, it'll dictate every word you say no matter what the circumstances are. You don't want that. You do want all the next ones though. Text navigation, big long list. Take a good look at them and see what all your options are there. Text selection, again, tons and tons of options there. Text editing, and then text deletion. Turn all of these on. Now, how does this work in practice? I'll dictate some text and then use some editing commands to operate on that text. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog, period. Now is the time for all good men to come to the aid of his country, period. Change men to men and women. Change his to their. Correct there. Choose six. Capitalize lazy. Lowercase lazy. Change is to is maybe. Change maybe to definitely. Delete definitely. Another cool feature is that you can triple tap the back of your iPhone to turn this setting on and off. Go to settings again, accessibility, then touch, then scroll down to back tap. And for the triple tap, turn on voice control. It's one of the last of a long list of things you can have there. Don't do a double tap. That turns on and off too easily. When you do tap three times on the back of the phone, you'll see a small blue microphone icon appear in the top left corner of the screen. That means voice commands are ready to go and you're all set. And that's about it. It's a very rich feature. I encourage you to take a look at all the different options there and the more you practice with it, the better you'll get with it and the more time you'll save. I hope you found this helpful and good luck.